it's like a cliche now. People say graph saved my life, mm. yeah? But it ha- fucking has. Mm. And I can be one of them people that say it. Now, without graffiti, I would probably, like, no lies, I would probably be fucking bum right now, dead on the street, mate, because <laughs> things happened in my life, led to mm. depression, mm. led to taking drugs. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not I'm f- afraid to say it. Mm. Alive, whatever. Man was fucking... I made a lot of money. You think you'd be dead by now? I probably would be, mate. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Dot You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top five, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox Creative. Talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, or central as you could be, should be, or want to be. Uh, you know, voice, my voice is nice and husky. Don't do shishas, particularly before the podcast. God damn it. <laughs> Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight to all the regulars. Hey, listen, I ain't doing this for my health. You know what it is. Sharing is caring. Share, tell a friend, tell a friend, subscribe. You know what I mean? Hit the bell. This ain't a. F- Come on. You know what it is. Um, anyone that's got the television app, you know what time it is. Sport and art. Yeah, free download, iPhone, Android, and uh, Apple. Uh, we have a special guest, HF Inside the Place. Well, you know what it is, and I know you're all out there. Hold tight. Task Inside the Place. What are you saying? Big up, Keller. <laughs> hey, hey. He says just before we started, I, 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 I was an MC. I says, we ain't got no problem with this mic control then today. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got no Come problem. On, check, check one, two, one, two. <laughs> yeah. How you been? No, I've been really good, man. I've been really good. Join graph, join life. Just being normal, <laughs> living a different side of graffiti, which is nice. Yeah, you fresh out of pen, aren't you? Fresh out, yeah. Well, I got birded off, done a little, little, little sank, and then uh, literally got a little twenty-eight day recall, yeah. and it was just nothing, nothing really. Yeah. And everyone knows it's the shortest thing you can really get. But I come out, and the, the love I got from the graffiti scene mm. was fucking crazy, man. Yeah. Over fifty people turning up at Shoreditch for me. I'd only been in jail twenty-eight days. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, mate. I'm like. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, I wish I had that every time I went off tour and come back. I was like, <laughs> all I South get is go Joe back. <laughs> yeah, 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 back on road. <laughs> but, but listen, it's yeah. fucking great to meet you because nah, we, we did buck for the first we did yeah. we buck for the first time Top at Trellick. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, and, and I really appreciated your approach because uh, yeah, it, it's one of those uh, epiphanies. And I said it to you from the get when we when we came in. I said like, I remember you from back in the day mm. when I used to go from London to Surbiton mm. to my boy DJ Vadim's place to yes. do the to do the um, album he was creating, Mm -hmm. me beatboxing around the place, I would always, I would see you. Mm -hmm. I would see you Mm -hmm. on on the track. That's your where you reside. Mm -hmm. That's South West London, right? Yeah, that's where I grew up. That's where I was graphing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, OSA was a big crew around them them times. Mm -hmm. I was hitting up DT, uh, Mm -hmm. SB, WSC, Mm -hmm. all them sort of crews there. Do you know what I mean? CB, big crew, Mm -hmm. Pies, Lust. Do you know what I mean? Huge. City Bombers. Do you know what I'm saying? Run with Touch as well, wasn't it? Yeah, Yeah. Touch is a very big inspiration in my life. Showed me a bit of the roads, mm. what got me about a bit. Mm. Big touch up fully with all my heart, man. Mm. M- miss you, bro. Come yeah, on, man. Not long ago since I've seen you, but yeah. Need to get that gentleman. Get on back, this mate. Get back. Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But um, no, I mean, obviously. Sorry, Keller, man. It's all right. It's the right. phone likes to ring sometimes, man. <laughs> so I put a beat to that shit. That <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's been a bit of a journey for you, isn't it, to say the least? It has. I mean, coming back in, I'm just going to put that on silent. Yeah, down silent. 15 years ago, maybe was when I'd done my last thing. Mm. Um, but, you know, just doing bare jail, mate. Mm. Like, I was on the roads doing mm. the fucking, like, you know... Selling, what were you doing? What selling, were you... selling this and that. Yeah. I was right. in Brighton for 10 years. Mm. I was all over the rave scene, MC and and all this and that. None of the... Same. You know what I'm Raver. Saying? Yeah, raving, love it. All the mm. festivals, mm. do you know what I mean? I was at the last Secret Garden party. Oh, mate, don't... Yeah. Listen, Secret Garden party's the one, bro. Oh, bruv, bring that it back, bring it back. Yeah. They've got a new little secret Secret Garden party or something, <laughs> but it's not Secret Garden party, mate. Nah, it's not the one. I'm in no. that very well. Yeah, so Rave was the day, order of the day. That was yeah, the soundtrack. Yeah, Rave was the order of the day, basically. Uh, um, The Southwest uh, is... It's his own little ecosystem, isn't it, for graph in in London? It was because, like, I'll be honest, like us lot as a collective of graphers, um, 
were like some of us were just roadmen yeah. that that's how they got in there with the big writers through the DDS writing yeah. scene and that you know like we've all got our bad sides as well or mm. our vicious sides whatever we side we got we've mm. got mm. but people respect where you come from from mm. graph and what you're doing with graph mm. so I just just um was that was that a heavy influence like obviously what wouldn't be of the nineties without DDS and exactly? The, you know I mean? wouldn't want to have been a graffer without that. Yeah. You know what I mean? My style, style literally came from like the vi- the likes of like knees and that and mm. vibe back in the day. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, that like, our, we had our own crew, CH. Do you mm. know what I mean? Just a local Richmond crew going up around Kingston, Barnes, Mort Lake, uh, keeping it kind of local. It was a local crew. So how old would you have been about that time then? I was about 17, 18 then. Because I remember you've quite. It was like lusts, lust. Little baby. Yes, yes, like, yes, yes. Such yeah. is lust brother. Big up such. He, oh, tight such. Lust. Yeah. Um, he was lust little brother, so he sort of Mad. started up CH. Mad. Which was nice. Nasty task, man. You Nasty weren't task. in, bro. Yeah. You weren't in. And now I'm not stopping, bruv. Yeah. Well, I'm coming back, bruv, with a vengeance. It's a vengeance, isn't it? This this task, this guy who started this shit off is back, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, mate. Yeah. Fire, Big up fire. all the street kings who know me, who know what I'm doing, who know where I've been and where I'm going. Straight up. Too many names to big up, but big up all of you. HF. Yeah. Let's talk about this crew right now. Okay. Because I feel uh, uh, as part of that, re- we'll call it rebrand, because, mm. you know, you've got to go away to come back in this game. Mm. And you come back and there's this collective mentality that's mm. going on with you. Much more welcoming. Mm. Of course. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And this crew, to me, it just seems like, hold on, mate, what, you, what, you got them lying? Mm. What the fuck? Mm. Explain a bit more. Well, the reason why, I mean, the Sutton HF board was a Mazza, I can't lie. Mm. It was burner after burner, mm. and the names on that board mm. are s- pinnacles as well, mm. some of them, from back in the day. Do you drop know drop I mean? some knowledge well, here. I think the lineup was O1, who's mm. quite a new type of writer. So we've got a mix of old and new. Nice. But you, we've got um, Sums on there. Mm. Big up Sums. We've got, we've got <sighs> Bean right next to him. Mm. Bean, probably one of the biggest writers yeah, yeah, that yeah, I yeah, 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 looked yeah. to when I came back in the Huge, game. Huge. And yeah. then I'm painting next to him. I'm like, so, yeah, Bean, big man there. Right? Them right. ones. Right, and then you've got next to me... Um, uh, my man Foe in it, so yeah. big up Foe. Foe my actual him. Donny, all city in me, all everywhere, brother. I'm <laughs> telling you, that guy has got reaches upon reaches. He's got maybe as well, maybe. Yeah, was maybe somebody. was there. We had Capo on there. Hmm. We had fucking Ko Obo. My wow. boy Obo, this guy, he's uh. just a Mazza with the painting. You cannot like fathom what he does. I mean, I, I, it's not. Even, it's hard. How many is in there? How many? The how many? Are? Close was there. Yo. Well, but, but we got about a, a reputable twenty good writers in the crew right now. Twenty. Yeah, and I mean, we've just come back, you know, and people want to be in the crew. People want to be a part of yeah, it. Yeah, you getting hit up a lot, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, I've got people out there writing um, HF all over the place. Yeah, so Mad. I mean, it's great. Uh, yeah. People want to get behind the movement, and if graffiti is a new thing, a new season, a new time, why not bring something new back into it? Mm. And I'll be honest, I came back as a DT member, which was mm. the crew I've banged all through jail mm. and every fucking jail wall mm. possible, mm-hmm. every fucking bathroom, every fucking classroom. Do you know what I mean? That is DT task there. I stand often on a on a on a wall looking down just in awe of some of of everything actually mm. when it comes to graph. But but one thing that I do take away, and this is something that you definitely hold, mm. um, is there's a lifestyle to some writers mm. that d- d- don't always correlate with the twenty twenty one um uh glossier of what a graph writer is. It's mm. mad actually when you think about it, how important walking it how you're talking it is mm-hmm. in graph but but with the way street art takes things mm-hmm. i think we could you know you know where we're coming from yeah, here yeah, yeah, 100%. Th- it feels like you 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 can't bypass certain routes can you you've got to be the, the thing i like we were saying as well like you know like like a lot of people are now writing even the same tags, but with the culture and the styles of the way things are moving with the street art mm. side, you, you can bump into someone who's even writing the same thing, but they might be doing this mad swirly style where it's 3D yeah. coming off yeah. and like, you know, there's yeah. nuts and bolts all coming out yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 and yeah. you know what I mean? Like, 
if you're an artist, yeah, you have to respect it, I believe. Yes. Because they're still keeping the art and the culture yeah. alive, whether they're doing it legally yeah. or illegally or however. It's like as a musician, I used to do drum and bass. Mm. I still respect hip-hop artists. Mm. I still respect classical artists, mm. you know? Mm. So when it comes to graffiti now, why are we not doing the same? But we what, are across genres, across all genres of Respecting the... Respecting mm. what people are doing with mm. the culture that... The likes of DDS, AC, it all them had started. For them to start something, it's not right for people to ruin it. Mm. So let's just keep it going. Mm. Big up all the everyone doing what they're doing, man. Yeah, yeah, I, for I've real. got no hate for no one out there. Mm. I love what everyone's doing. The only thing I will say, and this is something that's come up a couple of times on podcasts, and I've seen it myself firsthand, is is because there's a lot of like foreign uh, writers that are obviously in, in London, big up yourselves, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that are coming in and out of the capital and doing doing pieces, doing burners in the Hall of Fames. Or yeah, whatnot. But yeah. sometimes they're going over people too mm. soon. It's like, yo, like, I don't know, man. Like sometimes I think to myself, yeah, that's cool. It's legal. It's it's a, it's a spot. Everyone wants to paint there, and the turnaround could be quite quick. But sometimes it just breaks my heart when I see just the uneducated. I know. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it it's like what they're doing over it. Some you might get someone just doing a throw up yeah. over a chip piece. Yeah, and yeah, 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 like, yeah. Exactly, crazy? exactly, exactly. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. I saw someone go over an event piece the other day, and I'm just like, yo, do you know how much we've been yeah. waiting for that e to come yeah. out? You know. Oh. And then it's like you know they said, well, it's illegal. Like yeah. You're not respecting what's going on here. Like, yeah. At least just do your throw up over some other toy in the fucking yeah. place, innit? Or but something. you can weigh it up. You can see it, can't you? I mean, mm. I like to think that there's enough space for everybody. Mm. I mean, Stockwell's massive. You've yeah. got the, the, skate, the little bowls part as well, you know, where yeah. you can do the uh, skateboarding. Yeah, and man. That. Oh, bro, and I tell you what, I love the yeah, I love the Stockwell Hall of Fame because you get a whole different kind of writer coming. Mm. Like like mm. I say, big up to all the regulars that go down and also the, the people that come in and travel because they yeah. know that the Hall of Fame's there. That is the Hall of Fame in my eyes. Yeah. You can't beat that place. And yeah. you know what, Keller? <sighs> I can't lie, painting them surfaces there, mm -hmm. I don't know why, but every time I go to Stockwell, I'm pulling off one of my best yeah, pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally. It's just, the surface, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And then you've got the floodlights, you've got it's the mm. environment, you've got Cope always rolling through. <laughs> yeah, big, big up, up Cope. Cope. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's ADL, a guy. ADL, yeah. that's another crew man's banging. But, you know, I'm not really trying to chase crews or bang bear crews. I just, mm. just want to paint with the people I like, Killer, the people I roll with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm always talking about, you know, when I was young and that, yeah, I want to go paint with Cos Zombie mm. and all that. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Fume, mm. Teach. Like, these were like, these were the guys I looked to. <laughs> and I'll just bump into them here or there. But growing up now, I thought, yeah, I'm coming back into it. And I'm thinking, oh, I just want to paint with all these guys still. Because yeah. I'm coming with the same mentality as when I was young. Mm. Mm. Shit ain't changed for me in graffiti. Mm. So I've got like... Big up Spat and Reese. They yeah, they they day. kind of coached me through my comeback, which was very nice of them. So Reese was one of the first guys I was linking up with, with DDS. And now I'm saying to like my mates, but I'm painting with DDS now. What what can you say? Do yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? It, sometimes that sounds a little bit too easy coming out the mouth, yeah. but then everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but you know what? Some people <laughs> can sit back and say, Do you know what? If it's what you like, it's what you're doing, mm. good good to you, isn't it? But yeah, they taught me a lot of can control techniques, like both Yo, of them. Yo, talk to me about can control and uh, outlines, because this is something real important, isn't it? You, that's it's definitively. I think so. Yeah, isn't it? It's that without them in in harnessed, mm. you ain't progressing, is it? Nah. So I mean, progression is um, a way that is managed by yourself as a person mm. I feel if you're trying to do too much at one time your can control is not going to be able to control what you're doing <sighs> so oh my what God. I say Keller yeah. is when you're drawing on a bit of paper try and draw to the means of how your can control can act so if I'm here doing a squiggly arrow coming off doing a circle and then out mm. I know I'm probably not going to do at the, that yeah, moment yeah. with a can Maybe I could, maybe I couldn't, but I'd rather just add a rectangle coming off with a star, mm. do you know what I mean, or block something. Shit. Just block them out. Yeah, I'm a block star artist, mm. but I've got my, my yeah. round styles for the quick, illegal ones. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know. But we don't advocate any of that. Yes, no. Look after yourselves, don't get yourselves into trouble, do not hurt yourselves. <laughs> Thank you. You can edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I've, made my, I've made my point, I think. No, but um, obviously, can control definitely comes just with experience mm. and this is another thing now so these guys that have kept graph going they've kept it going and 
passionate, dedicated mm. to the art. You can see their stuff comes up quick. Their can control is mad. Like, mm. oh like, mate, oh, seriously, chick, man. One Big line, chick. Just, oh come on, fucking this chick, man. Like he's just his can control. It's mm. just bonkers, ain't it? <gasps> well, it's even like this though. When I first come back in a year ago after a fifteen year break. I'm like literally doing a line and it's overlapping into my schemes and my colours. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm having to like redo my scheme. <laughs> yeah, patch, patch, patch. Yeah, but now I'm just like, like, and it's ending at the point I want it to end. Oh, that's cold. So, and that's it. It's sign you made it, man. Yeah. Do you well, know what I mean? I ain't made it yet, but no, you know, but I'm here, I'm doing my thing. I tell you, man, that is, to I a get, lot of people, that's a lot. That's that's the biggest yeah. ch achievement in their minds, you know what I mean? But like I say, the guys that brought me through back in again, like I followed and believed in yeah. what I was doing. Spat, for one, give yeah. me the hat. Big up aerosol infantry. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't see that. The pixelation does not do him any justice. He's a very handsome young man, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so um, um, he, he basically showed me, like, if I'm doing a straight style thing, mm. why am I going down, across, down, down, up, trying to follow the line? What you want to do is drag the lines into each other. Do you know what I mean? So you're dragging down and in. So the lines are meeting, not going like that. Because the paint can drip, this and that. The yeah. paint's in one spot for too long. Yeah. Going like that, it's stopping. So and what are you saying? So explain that one more time. So is... say you've got my T here yeah. Yeah. and down. So T up, yeah. Yeah, I'd go I'd like, cut the top. across like that up the top. and then up and meet it. So, so the two lines are meeting. So for you, if you're listening and not watching, so... So you take the top of the T and from from the from the left so to see, right. You got the, on top, the top, yeah. top left hand corner of the T. Yeah. Both lines. So the bot the top of the T yeah. that you'd start from right to left and meet the Boom. top of the left. Yep. Yep. And then at the side of the T, yep. you start from the bottom and meet to the top left. See, I'm so saying. the lines are joining. Yes. Instead of it going round and it's more crisp, more fresh. And then obviously cutbacks and stuff Come like on. that is. But happening. that's so interesting you say that because yeah, because if you have one line going all the way around, you're more likely to get the drip at the bottom. Mm. That's what you're saying. Or at the top, which is even worse. Yeah. It drips through your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing, wow. Keller, is I am definitely not a hater. I love the art. I love the passion. Mm. When I have to say that, it's because I am always willing online. People message me, can you tell me how to do mm. this? Can you show mm. me how to do that? Mm. And I'm, I'm honoured that they ask. Mm. But at the same time, I don't want to stop any single person's progression. Because mm. do you know what? I, I will have to, and I will always admit this, I am not the best out there. I know that. And even for a year back in, I'm still not better than a lot of people. And, you know, I watch Zombie's thing and he's like, look, even I have to admit, I'm not better than a lot of people. Now, the thing is, yeah, he is still sick and he's a pinnacle. But when he's saying that, he's talking about these people doing these 3D letters. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like it's coming off the board and it's like, you know, you're looking at it like, well, shit, is that shit going to mm. eat me or something? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, But... The real recognise real and where the art and culture is coming from, mm. all that's happening is your can control is getting better and better and better that's and better. That's what's happening, isn't it? For ages, I'm like, yeah, it's a paint, but it's not. Because I was like this. I, I said to my mate, K.O., uh, runs HF with me, with Sums and uh, with uh, Pens and Obo. Uh, Obo is the one I was talking about earlier. Big up. Um, yeah, we run the crew together. So K.O., I was saying to him, I was having a conversation, I was saying to him, um, like, I feel like I've, reached my can control limit and mm. he's like stop being stupid I'm like nah mate that's it now nah. I think that's where my can control got to me and then like you know just not thinking about it three more months on and I'm like actually you know what I'll just talk <laughs> shit <laughs> you know what I mean like what the fuck was I all about yeah, yeah. so now five years down the line I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to say but I think I'm going to be fucking with the best of them mate like for London style talk artists. that shit come on come on you got to be confident in what you do you man. mentioned something just before we went on about you know coming out of pen and having one sort of style and then realizing that because uh, you're you've kind of excelled. I don't know. It's suddenly become your what became classic and contemporary is suddenly taken on a bit more of a cutting edge look well, to it in certain well, aspects. Like I say, I was talking to Cos down the tunnel the other day at Leak Street, mm. and he said, like, obviously, yeah, like you know, he he, he knows of my work from young. You mm. know what I mean? Like it's just normal. Like, mm. right? but he goes to me, you know, I gotta appreciate the fact that it's a London style, but you're all forever trying to push it mm. forward. Task mm. like your outline is there. You know, it hasn't changed mm. much, but now I've just put an extra bend in it, an mm. extra little kick at the back. Mm. Now I'm throwing stars. On. Can I for for that whole break time? Yeah, that I was. I didn't even research graph. Do you know that? Like I just was 
stuck in my ways. Not mm. saying it like that, but say, for instance, Cos, you know, mm. you're going to see them same bad boy mm. feels. Mm-hmm. That's Cosa. That God, same that. fucking O oh, with the yeah. eyes. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. Cosa. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. fuck with that it's shit. It's like a stamp. Bang, yes, of that's quality. his brand. Yeah, 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 yeah? yeah, yeah. So, man is just trying to make my own brand again. Mm. But I can't brand something from the old because this is the point of it. All that time doing jail, man done like 10 years behind the door, yeah. separate little things, yeah. getting nicked at festivals, this and that. Yeah. Like Too much to explain right now. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is all that time, I'm just there drawing on paper in my cell. Mm. You come in my cell, I've got paper after paper. That my walls, you can't see them. They're What's it like covered. being in jail and really just wanting to go out and paint? Talk to me about that feeling. Um, it wasn't even about going out and painting. It was just about going out with a fucking paint pen or like a scratch. Anything. Anything that I can get my shit up with because I don't even know about loop yet. Do you know what I mean? I'm sitting in jail, graphing all this time. Just And this is the point of it. I was saying, I weren't even doing drop shadows. I'm just doing side shadow. Keep it moving. Bang. I'm coming out. I'm learning all this drop shadow shit, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. shines, this, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet it's hard to kind of remember the names of each kind of element. It was that goes at first. In. Yeah, I bet. When they could telling me key line. I was like, what's a key line? <laughs> like, don't no, you get no. them in Miami? <laughs> <laughs> key line pie? Come on. You know what I mean? Exactly. Joking. Dad jokes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Can't please a ball. Come on, we all got to get old at one point. Yeah, we? come on, man. <laughs> 43 years old. What do you want from me? Blood? Um, and that's another thing, like, I'm 36 now. Do you know what I mean? So no You one made it. Take, Congratulations. No one can take away what I was doing at 14. Yeah, yeah that's when I started. Yeah. I would like to say something. Uh, I want to big up Mets. Uh, obviously, there's Mr. Met. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all them boys there. CBM, big up them. Yeah. Lot B's and that. But... Um, my boy, Mets, yeah? When we was young, 14. He's, mm. he's part of the... The lot that gave me my tag. You know what I mean? We sat in the library. We was all coming out of tags. We were Yo, like, yeah. they sat in the library. At school. The Mets' tag was actually... Um, Bad. It was actually... Uh, what was it? It was a vamp. He was a vamp before there was a vamp, mate. Like, this is longer. What do you think about this kind of... Because... Th- Obviously, there's other tasks. He didn't up. write it for long, though. But there's oh, loads of but there's loads of other right. You know, there's similarity names and stuff like big. Like I said, big up all the other tasks inside mm. the house. Uh, but definitely big up all the other tasks inside the house. There's no hate. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. Want you to know that it's a new age of graph. That's right. So this is what you want to talk about. So basically. Yeah. Um, coming back into graph now. I knew there was another task when I sort of like yeah. stopped, but I didn't stop. I just was in jail yeah. writing on paper. Yeah. And when I was coming out, I was focused on making money. So mm-hmm. graph took a back seat for mm-hmm. me. And also I was doing the music as well, Keller. So I would just be there. If so, if a pen come my way or a tin come my way, mm-hmm. I would use it. Mm-hmm. But I weren't out there actively trying to get paint every day. This is street culture. Right here. Street culture. The, the embodiment. Carry on. Um, <laughs> but I was in Brighton for 10 years and that, that was a place where art was massive. So mm-hmm. I did drop a f- couple of things mm-hmm. there out of, out of a random. But I was going to the same names and that. So, you know, I mean, even uh, Task SFL mm-hmm. came to UPS. Like SFL to yeah, Task. Big yeah. like SFL and Task. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. Why not? Yeah, yeah. You know, well, this is what I'm trying to say. We are in a new era yeah. and there is other people writing what you are writing and you yeah. can't actually help it. And yeah, I came back with that mentality like yeah fuck it I'll meet that man I'll, I'll either beat him up I'll either battle him on a wall or and that but mm. I've had to be coached again because it's like graph ain't what it was back mm. in the day mm. coming back as a writer you're you're still thinking that it is mm. but it's farly changed a it's lot ch- you know uh but I was saying, imagine Spo stopped graphing, big up Spo. Okay, if he Spoh. stopped graphing, yeah, yeah, when I graphed, there would be another Spo now, believe me. But because he yeah. didn't stop, no man can take that yeah, tag. Yeah, yeah. That's the truth of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there's a there's other Kellers. There's killer Kellers out there. Yeah. You know, some MC guy, I can't remember, some of them from the States. You know, just kind of coming up, kind of going, oh, yeah, I was a big fan of your third. I hope you don't mind me using the same name. I'm yeah. like, well, okay, well, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Is but this happening? It happens, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 are you oh, really contacting me about oh. this? But yeah, it's calm. But uh, mentality-wise, with with writing, I suppose, the, but com, the common denominator, and I think about this for 2021 into 2022 and onwards, 2023, whenever you're watching this, um, one up. Mm. There's no ego in the one up crew. No. It's like they all just get on. You imagine if there was just like a massive like task, fucking blockbuster yeah. of d- different tasks. Oh, that would look so great. I would love that to happen. It'd be so I cold. Would. I would. Because I mean, originally when I come back, it started out as a fuck it, let's get on the wall next to our battle, and whoever wins takes the tag. Yeah. And I was confident. <laughs> now that's in doing 80s that. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it didn't go down. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to say reasons why, because I'm not here to hate on people, but 
I was definitely love is down. love, man. <laughs> I was <laughs> love, definitely down. <laughs> love is love. Love is love. Jewel said the same thing as well from New York. He did mention that Jewel, D U E L, you know, he's mm. fucking J A E Z, mm. all them lot from New York. Mm-hmm. And he was one of the original guys. But there's there's a Jewel in Portugal, there's a Jewel in fucking mm. Australia, there's a Jewel in South mm. Africa. It's like you've got a. I guess there's levels of just expecting that. That's just the way life is right now. The world is. Yeah, Yeah, and it's even a thing now when you're on your Instagram or on your WhatsApp chat group Mm. and then, like, you know, someone posts a picture from someone who's got the same tag as you. You're like, oh, no. But it happens to a lot of people on these Mm. group chats. Um, um, Task 57, by the way, Mm. up in um, his ways abroad, Germany. That's mad. You know, he, he, he... we're in contact. He's going to do a task HF. I'm going to do a task 57. Why yeah, not? Do you know what I mean? Good. See, look, this, share is the, the love. this is the share vibe. the yeah. love. That's right. This is the vibe. Can't be precious. I remember when I was first in, I don't know, books thing, but like snares, things like that, people copying my thing. I'm, there is a level of, uh, I guess, expect you expect that it's complimentary, but at the same time, mm. you know, other people say they did it then or mm. then did it there. Mm. And it's like, it's just one in the same. And it's, it's just contributing. Mm. Always contributing. Of course. I mean, as well, um, ungraph related, mm. I believe my biggest question in world, in life, in, in the whole of the universe is like, what is the meaning of life? Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. probably one of the biggest questions yeah. I ask myself every day. And if I have to be truthful of it, I don't think you'd ever know. But you never know if that. you live by what you believe in doing, yeah. and my, my belief is to pass on knowledge to make mm. the world great. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's, Because that's the only thing we've got. I mean, I know it sounds quite profound and deep for, you know, this time of the morning, but it's <laughs> fucking true. Yeah. I think, I often think to myself, right, what are we doing this shit for? What's yeah. it for? What, yeah. what is all of this conversation yeah, exactly. for? What is, is it all for? Yeah. It goes into dust when you turn into dust. Mm. It doesn't actually, but what does it serve in the moment? All you leave behind are your memories, your yeah. legacy, your path you mm. took, the way you done it, you know, like. And to me, I've, I, like we were talking earlier about morals and that, mm. like morals to me is the biggest key thing in my life. Yeah. If I can't stand by them, I can't stand by myself. What's your strongest moral? What's your morals? Give me some morals. My, Give my, me some- my probably number one moral is, like, I've not really grown up of a family, so my number one moral is the roads, the life, the people you grow with, that's my family. Mm. So my moral, number one, is to look out for those who look out for you because mm. that's how you stand together, strong, united mm-hmm. as a team. And that's a part of the reason why HF has come about. You could be the bad boyest grapher, but if you're a fucking prick who goes around mm. still robbing people and that, like, who are in the same culture, like, you ain't getting in this crew, mm. bruv. You could be ten times better than me, but I ain't letting you in. Like, we are called hood, uh, honour family for a reason, because mm. we honour each, stuff, each other, do you mm. know what I mean? That's that's a big big step for us. That's what we want to public publicise, do you know what mm. I mean? But that's, a, that's all part of our morals. Mm. Um, other morals are just normal stuff, just like, you just know what you're doing, know your worth, have confidence in yourself and be a constant, conf- confident, positive person. Because mm. I believe what you breed is what you get back in life. So why, if you're going to go around being negative and this and that, you're going to just be a negative person mm. yourself. Do you think? Do you think that there's a change about? It? Will people be surprised to a see you on here for starters? Yeah. But, but b will they be surprised about your your take on life like that? I think if you know me and you know who I am, you know I'm a fucking real one. Yeah. yeah. And I can stand by and say that myself. Yeah. And like people like yourself, Keller. I mean, recently met, but. I mean, I don't know you properly like that, but getting to know you, you seem like a nice guy. You're doing a lot for the art, the culture. So Thank big you, brother. props to you, Thank my you, friend. My big Thank props, you. like seriously. And that's all part of what we are doing, whether you are a podcaster or a grapher or this or that. Mm. You are doing something for the culture, which mm. I believe is a positive thing. Yeah. You're dialing in, you're dialing in. It is all about your morals again. Yes, so morals. You, why, some people want to chase fame, people want to do this. Everyone's motives are their motives. Mm. That's just something else. Motives and morals. Mm. Cool. You don't want to put them <laughs> two together too often, mate. I'm telling you. Because you'll come out of a big shit storm. <laughs> but, you know, I just believe. I just believe in being a good person, mate. Seriously. Mm. Yeah, you've got to do some nutty shit along the way in life. Especially when we're young. Growing up in foster care and that, you think I had time to be nice to people. Mm. But I was, mm. but you know, at the same time, yeah, let's go and do this, let's go and do that. Mm. 
I mean, every graphers come on here has talked about robbing the Halfords and mm. the B and Qs and mm. all this and that. And I don't need to sit here and say I've done that because you know I did. Mm. But you know, I, I just want to talk about the art, the life, mm. the way it's come. The back in the day stuff, man. Oh my god, I was mm. all over it. But mm. you know, I am again a bit. But I just, I don't know, Keller. I just, I just appreciate the art now where mm. it's come to. You know Do I mean? you? Feel, I mean, there's a route to passage. We again, we mentioned this, but. Being grown up in a foster care situation mm. and having almost like a uh, a North Star mm. like graph mm. to help guide you create find your tribe. Well, can I tell you something a little bit? About yeah, that, actually, yeah. like it's a it's like a cliche now. People say graph saved my life, mm. yeah, but it ha- fucking has, mm. and I can be one of them people that say it. Now, without graffiti, I would probably. Like, no lies. I'll probably be fucking bum right now, dead on the street, mate, because mm. things happened in my life, led to mm. depression, mm. led to taking drugs. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm not afraid to say it. Mm. Alive, whatever. Man was fucking... I made a lot of money. You think you'd be dead by now? I probably would be, mate. I swear, I was trying to kill myself with drugs at one point. Really? You know what I mean? I went, I was up country. I made 16 grand in, like, fucking two months. Of what? Fucking and that yeah really? but I didn't want to do that I was there not wanting mm. to do it but it's the life I'm forced mm. into I've come out of that I've gone through a lot of depression stuff happened in my life mm. then I was smoking the fucking shit bruv and then I'm trying to kill myself with this shit mm. so it took me to go to and even jail saved my life but you know what happened I'm in jail now I'm there sketching again mm. doing my mm. thing fucking prison officers are coming to my cell oh you should you should do that for a job you should do that for real. Do you hear and that? Uh, yeah, the prison officers were looking at his art, his graph, and saying you should do that for a job. That's something in 2020, it, something you would They were saying, put it on T-shirts, put it on mugs, put it on this. But that's another thing. In mm. jail, like, you have to get through that shit, how you have to get through it, yeah? Mm. And luckily enough, I'm a likeable person. I'm fucking a bad boy at pool. I can graph <laughs> and, you know... Man likes to get active. <laughs> so I'm all right in there. But, you know, as well, I'm like one of them bully prevention types of people. With, like, you don't... really are, dude. Like, even in the short space of time I met mm. you, like, you really do back the... Like yeah, that. Yeah, and you, you, you back the, the people that are having a hard time over something. Mm. Well, of course, man. And, and that's where I've found sometimes I've got in my stickiest situations is by backing someone who can't even back themselves. Mm. And that is the... That's when you realise that shit. Elaborate like, on that. So, I mean, for instance, I was... And don't, in, don't give me examples, but, well, you know. you know, someone was in jail, they mm. had a broke up leg, and he was getting abused. He had a bit of money. So people were extorting him and taking his money, oh. giving him, like, small amounts for big money and stuff like that because mm. he didn't know what he's doing. He's in from my ends. I'm like, fuck that, man. Backed him, ripped off my shirt, like, ah, come on, all of y'all. Like, they're like, task is nuts. They come into my cell next day telling me that one of them's a boxer. I said, fine, cool. Oh, you could dodge a knife. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Huh? This is jail, bro. You don't ha- I don't want to live like that, but you're in that environment. You've got to live like it. And that is just my morals kicking in. Yeah. I can't see someone from my ends yeah. be bullied. Mm. I can't. Mm. I can't. I'd rather die than be... Because I'm sitting on that wing. What mm. happens when I come out mm. and all everyone goes, how could you let that happen to little... Well, whoever? In... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and like you say, that, that family place, that this... this, this... Where you didn't have the f- exactly, yeah, Keller. Yeah. Mm. Exactly, my family are the roads, mate. Mm. Literally, like <sighs> I'm not gonna go in about my mum and dad, but you know, my dad don't have much contact with him. Mum has other shit going on. Mm. I can't support them. I can't. Mm. I have to just support myself, and the only way I know how to do that is through the roads. Mm. And now, like graffiti, yeah, I'm doing them outlines in jail. I'm coming out now. I've got a banging story for you, Keller. So. <laughs> hold tight, hold tight. Go, on, go, go, go. <laughs> I've come out of jail. My boy K.O., big love to K.O., my right hand man. He's got a load of this paint from Bill, London paint, yeah? <laughs> hold tight, Bill. Yeah, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then um, literally, he's like, yeah, like, let's try it out and that. I've done my first thing. My mate Winks, in fact, we got Winks, the original DT. Yeah, he fucking was doing it. And he goes, oh, fuck that, I give up, throw the can at the wall, yeah? Because we've not, not done it in 15 so years. So you're still, you're, you're fucking, that must be bonkers, man. So then I've just picked up the tin and I'm like, fuck it, I'll have a go then. And then I'm doing my thing, I'm thinking, man, <laughs> this don't look like nothing what I could do on paper. Really? I will show you the image after. <laughs> yeah. um, we'll have it down at the bottom here, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
uh, with me going like that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think I'll see you anyway, so it's fine. You know, everything you said. Right, fuck it. <laughs> the blur. <laughs> but yeah, um, basically, right. Um, yeah, so I was like, bro, oh, no, I actually love doing this. So as a collective of artists, we decided to do a big jam at the Unigate. It was the DT Comeback Jam. <laughs> Fuck Mad sake. jam. Oh, I'm still one of the best jams I've been to. So mate. where was this? In Unigate, near UPS. Big up UPS, Urban Paint Supplies. Yes, yes. Big up Paint Felton and way. Have Feltham, yeah. yeah. And it's the old Unigate building. We had a 30-man jam there. Zonk turned up, do you know what I mean? Stay Mad. was there, Spat was there, Have Lame... Pain, fucking tense. Like, I mean, there was a Big lot of writers man. there, and they're all reasons wow. there. Do you know what I mean? Like, everyone's banging the thing. Do you know what I'm saying? And it was a big day. But then, you know what? I just put, just listen to Have. Big up Have, you know? He told me, like, break your shit back down. Because when I've done this one in Unigate, it's got the big curly T, yeah. this, and, and I'm like, right. And by the way, man's using London paint and a wax oil outline <laughs> at this Unigate jam because I'm still in lost in the old ways. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about paint yet, so man's just yeah, I'm calm with a wax oil. Like, no, I was yeah. not calm with that wax oil. Uh, so, so you're saying that you literally? So I broke down my graffiti again, back wow. to basics. That's the hardest thing you have to do when you know you can do some bad boy shit on paper, and now you have to be a baby again on the wall. Yeah, um, and this is this is what I have showed me. That's humbling, isn't it? Um, and that's what I love. Like, you know that I've got the same work ethic when it comes to helping people progress mm. and show them mm. what they can do. Because I was in that position mm. not too long ago. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And when he told me, build it from a block, add your bits, don't do too much. I'm doing arrows and that from the start. He's mm. like, wait till your grass come together, then yeah. start throwing the it's arrows. The hardest in. thing in it, you're and thirsty and you just and you know something from a certain time, I guess, right? And yeah. You're like, well, I'll just keep, I'll just do exactly what I did there, but just. Do a little bit more of that. What's in this year's so decade? The turning point for me was the fourth piece in. Mm. I actually looked back at it and went, "Right, that's all right." Like, really? Yeah. With it. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, "That's all right. It's all right." And then you know, to a lot of people, that fourth piece that don't come till at least their twentieth. Sometimes that's that's it. And this is what I was getting told. My progress rate is crazy, mm. but I'm looking back at myself, going, "Fuck off! You're just being nice." This and that. Are you ever like, happy with your pieces, though? I'll be, I'll be honest, I'm one of them one goes, yeah, that's a fucking banger, bro. So well, you just know off the bat, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I hate it. But, you know, I'll look back in it and I'll say, all right, maybe that letter was a bit too skinny or fat there. Maybe the drop shadow went out a bit there. And everyone criticises their work. And I will be a biggest critic of my own work, but not at the time. I'm just mm. happy to see it on the wall. Like, yeah. what's, is it, what's the feeling? Because, like you say, there's, there's the learning aspect now. Mm. You're back in. What? So there's the, there's the outline, there's the... You know, fill in. There's the yeah. the pieces, the bits and bobs. There's the outline. There's the shade. What What's the bit? After all that? What makes you feel anxious? What bit makes you what? feel fucking anxious in that period? Well, the, <laughs> my most anxious bit for me, I can't lie, is doing your final outline. You know, <laughs> you've done your first lines. I, I mean, the fills. When I get to, I've put my base colours in. <laughs> that's not hard. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Now it comes to the fills. I'm excited because yeah. I know I've got a lot of fill ideas and every time I do it, I try and change my letters a little bit. So yeah. I've never got the same outline. Maybe it might look the same to other people, mm. but I'm kinking it a different way. Or yeah. So now when I'm doing my... F I believe when you do your schemes, it depends on what type you're doing, but... Um, I think the lines should run parallel to your letters and stuff like that so that mm. it all has that mm. same look. Mm. So now where I am changing my letter a bit, I now know that the scheme's got to run different. So I'm always changing my schemes as well. But as long as you keep it parallel, they keep each scheme that you're doing the mm. same kind of thickness, mm. I believe. This is for London style, by mm. the way. London style, yeah. yeah. Um, like, you know... If you're doing a star, you want to maybe do a big one and a small one. Like mm. it's all just it's just common knowledge that mm. comes with graffiti. But it's a lot that people don't know though. On. Yeah, it's passed on, but to the to, to the untrained. Yeah. That don't know about the London but style like that. Now the thing is, Kello, it's like if you're doing your outline, yeah, don't just go and say, Oh, I like that Espo done, I'm gonna do that. Mm. Maybe you might like it. But if you want to take inspiration, what I want key, I want to say this to any artist coming up in the game Talk or it. doing what they're doing. If you want to look at an artist for inspiration, all props to you for doing that. But do not directly copy their fills yeah. or their yeah. outlines. 
make it your own. Yeah. Make it your own. Mm. And that's where you get your respect, mm. Keller. You know? Mm. I was saying to you earlier, like, of all the people that have come back from a long time ago to be on your podcast, it is a bit of an honour, mate. I can't lie. And it is a respect thing as well. And I'm like, privileged, oh bruv. Come I'm on, privileged. But you know what? I have got the history there. Yeah. I can talk about it. You go it. back. Back, bro. Saying. Back. Um, you... The landscape of graph is different and it constantly moves. Mm. What do you reckon is the next for you? Like what? I'll be honest, what's becoming now um, is a thing that I do it out of the passion for graph, I love and that. But what has started to happen is a lot of commissions are starting to come my way. Brilliant. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to turn them down. Yeah. <laughs> my first commission, I just said... You know, just cover the cost of the paint. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you just want to pull it out there. Done a commission. Couple of beers. I'm all right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, yeah. And then so the second commission I done like, like the geezer was like, yeah, yeah I've bung you like forty quid, uh, and he paid for the paint and paid mm-hmm. for a bit of weed and that. Mm-hmm. He's like, give me forty quid. I was like, happy. I was like, yeah, sweet. Like mm-hmm. then my friends and that going to me, what are you doing? Like you know, you're better than that. So then I was like, really? And then like next thing you know, I'm doing a fruit and vegetable, and it's like you know, That's oh so what? Here's sweet. two bills. On top of the paint, I'm like, what? Oh, I can get two bills, sweet. I've just got one lined up right now. They're, they're looking to pay me 800 quid. And, and they've confirmed it. They've got the paint. It's going to be happening very soon. That's With my amazing. boy Obbo, big yourself up. I love that guy. One of the realest ones I fucking know, mate. I'm mm. telling you. Okay, and not many people get to know his stuff or his work, but he's fucking talented, man. Because he's not out there like that. He's just a good, honest person he don't give a fuck about painting with any legends he just wants to paint with someone that he connects to mm. which is something I That's appreciate amazing. more yeah, yeah. can I tell you something else you know what I really respect right now is, and it's something I'm not even doing go on because I like to follow what I'm doing in graph but you know like people like Vans and that bigger yourself yeah, up yeah. these men there they, they're like got a thousand followers and they're following like 700 yeah and you, you as a graphic you think why ain't Vans got like 5,000 followers <laughs> and that <laughs> because he don't give a fuck Mm. Don't follow me. He just does mm. it out of the love. And he mm. won't paint with people he don't care about. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah. So, I th- I, I, yeah, I think um, numbers are nice. It's nice to be important, as Nicky would yeah. say, but more important to be nice. Well, do you know what? Someone who has grown up on the roads without a family, to see my numbers go up, <coughs> it makes me feel good. Mm. And any graffer that sits there who's got all these views and followers and says, nah, 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 like you're lying. Mm. Cause you, Endorphin hits it, alone. It's a part just, of a yeah. thing. Everyone likes to be loved. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just normal. Yeah, yeah. You can't, and it's like that saying, you can't love yourself until, you can't be loved until you love yourself. Yeah, 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 like, true. Love is a big part of everyone's world, whether it's relationship yeah. or with your culture or with your art. So, you know, but there is people out there with different morals that would stop them from wanting that. Yeah, and hate liking. and all that. But you know what, here's the thing. We all have different things and energies and whatnot going on in our lives. It's like, hate isn't, Hate is a love too. And that's so deep and profound. It, no, yeah, it but is, it is. Man. It's a level of consideration, isn't it? Mm. Um, but we all go through stuff, do you know what I mean? And like you say, f- to be on the receiving end of someone that's feeling a certain way about you because of a feeling that they're feeling or there's mm. something that they're going through themselves, you just got to process it and be like, well, of course the negative is going to like echo, mm. but look at all the positives, look at all the great love, look at all the stuff, and what they're going through is only momentary as well. Well, like, Keller, it's fucking funny you said that, actually, because seven months into my career, I've had to put a post up on Instagram with, like, a horse laughing with my graph in the background saying, like, the amount of hate I'm getting at the moment Ah. is, like... Nothing compared to the amount of love I'm getting. So it just shows me mm. if I was just getting pure hate, and there's artists out there that I'm not going to mention because they're not even worth me mentioning, but they have got pure hatred everywhere because they're scumbags or doing dodgy shit or not knowing the culture or not knowing the roots, right. not knowing how to respect what's been going on. Mm. And even with the noom side of the movement, not even respecting that, just being an arsehole, yeah? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, that's you, you're just breeding hate. But when I was able to put that on online and say, do you know what? Yeah, I've got a bit of hate at the moment. And I was even saying to my boy KO again, I was saying, bruv, do you know what? I think it's the end for me. I went, oh, I think I've got too much hate out there. He was like, bro, you're mad. He goes, everyone fucking loves you. Everyone wants to be around you. Everyone wants to paint with you. Like, And I'm like, yeah, I know, but do I want to be involved in something where I'm hated as well? You're going down the parapet of yeah. something you may not be able to get yourself but out. Then I realised, you know what, this hate that from these people has actually turned back round into love again. Mm. So it just shows hate doesn't always have to be hate. 
Like, Not I all the time, yeah. Into right. love. It's all I mean? momentary. Yeah. Hell, my best friends, my two best friends, I've both. I've been knocked out by one and knocked the other one out, yeah? And now they're both my best friends to this day. And See that's saying? kids. So that's where it comes from. Here's another thing I've learned is don't get involved with beef because you know what? Beef can turn into sunshine in a minute and mm. you're left there siding with people Still that ain't even siding. <laughs> you know? yeah. And you're like fuming. And they're all shaking hands. Yeah, 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 totally. And you mug yourself off. Just don't get involved, you know? Uh, you'll never see any beef on this podcast, Unless it's your you. personal beef, but, you know, yeah. with Graf... That's another thing I was saying. I come in like, and I was saying, yeah, I, I went into battle task and that. And, this, and now I'm like, just happy to know that he's out there painting and enjoying yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And you know, another thing is, if you're a writer in the scene and you recognise and you know what's real, That's real you're going to yeah. see the style difference. Mm. So even if there's similarities in the style, mm. which I'm not going to go into, but you know... People say T A S K. They're quite simple style letters. Yeah. Well, you know, look at these wild style artists. You can do anything with graph. Do anything. So don't tell me that. But you know, a London style is kind of a London style as it's well. True, it's true, isn't it? Like there's so many de- variations of letters and and being able to. You can make. You can turn anything into your own. Mm. Into your I own. Mean, do you know what it is, Keller? Oh, I get pissed off when I look at something on the wall and I'm going. I fucking read that. <laughs> What's that say? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then I have to go up to the what, what do you write, mate? Or like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, it's a bit embarrassing or like, you know, but it just shows that there's skill out there where, you know, and then when they say, oh, it's like this or that, you go, oh, and they yeah. don't even have to tell you where the letters are. Mm. You're like, oh, okay, that's where that is. Do you know what I mean? So. I guess the highest compliment from any outsider looking in and not knowing graph, uh, you know, and the yeah the fundamental rules mm. and what things say and shit is when they turn around and say, that oh, was fucking sick. Mm. That's all you need, really, isn't it? Mm. That's it. It's that's it. It's that, it's that verification, isn't yeah. it? It's that, it's that thing. Oh, mm. like, I've hit a thousand. Like, when I hit a thousand... Uh, followers on Instagram mm. I'd only had the account up about eight months and out of everyone I've come back with I was the only one to do it really mm. uh, and everyone's like wow well, t-. but t- do you know what this is though and this is why I'm grateful you've had me on the show Keller and it just shows the only reason why I got that follow base and I'm not saying a thousand's a lot or whatever it doesn't matter what's mm. a lot or what's not the only reason why that happened is because of my past do you know what I mean? Because yeah, people true. know where I come from. Mm. I want to take a moment just to big up Pens, mm. um, who runs the crew with me, Ko and Obo, mm-hmm. um, and and um, Obo. He's changed his tag. He used to write Pose back in the day. Yeah. And even Ko used to write Claim back in the day. So these guys have changed their tags to now be in this n- new environment. Rebrand. But Pens has kept it going. Yeah. Big up Pens fully on crud, but. Through re changing your tag, it's now took away your past, which is kind of unfortunate mm. for that person, mm. I believe. Interesting, because yeah. I didn't change mine, yeah. and I'm the only one really out of us three. For really, well, Pens is just going mad, mad, mad yeah. Pens is just doing something, but mad. you mean keeping your name and the, the for history Obo roots. And KO's sake, I would say, do you know what I mean? Maybe changing their tags was not the best move for them in, in saying like keeping your history but then to get to know the person and then realise who that person is oh that was Kane that mm. was Pose mm. now you're fucking making some you're different making, shit yeah, 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 yeah. do you know what I mean that's cold which is a different way of looking at things yeah. do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. that's why I've got another tag now I can't really say what it is but yeah mind your business you lad mind <laughs> your <Is>. business <laughs> any shout outs you want to give my brother Um, I've done a lot I want to shout out Verb my uh my T side buddy, I want to shout out fucking. I just want to shout out everyone that fucking knows me, man. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of shout outs through the podcast. I know my editing big skills are really good. Hold tight, Sweet. my guy. Yeah, big up everyone that showed me how to get where I'm doing. I want to big up Close uh, SLC. I want to big up Minor NST. I want to big up fucking. Myself, <laughs> no, I don't. I want to big up everyone that's just missus, doing thing. kids, all oh, that good stuff. Sorry, misses, kids, all the good stuff. Big up my missus, big up little Ron. Yeah, come on, love you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but any crew that I'm in, really, uh, big up Cope. I'm just picking up the people whose crews are right, really. <coughs> that's it, you know. I'll keep it real, keep it 100. That's the one. How's that for you, huh? Well, like it was out of fashion. The mighty task. Thank you very much, my brother. Kel, it's, it's been, been a, prov- abs- quite a privilege and an honour, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on, man. Cheers, and you know man. what it is. Every week, without fail, it's like EastEnders around here. We're gone. All right, stay lucky. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Big up, task. 
outside. Peace. Peace. Peace.